And this is just so sad. Let's go to CBS News Miami's Morgan Reiner. She's at the scene of this crash investigation this morning. Morgan. Yeah, now that the sun is coming up, I actually can see one of the cars that's involved in this fatal crash. So I'm going to have my photographer pan over to the left and zoom over for you. We also have a chopper that's overhead that's giving us a bigger picture of what happened here at this intersection on Miami Gardens Drive and Northwest 22nd Avenue. What I know from talking to a family here is that one person, one driver, ran a red light and hit another car. You can see that there's a red car that is mangled. There's also a gray car that's about halfway down the block. When I arrived here, at the scene about an hour ago. There was a very nice woman asking me if I knew what was going on here. And at the time, we really didn't have any information. And I told her just that. So she stood here alongside me as I was gathering information. And she told me she believes that her son is the one that was involved in this crash. She doesn't know how. She didn't even know it was possible. But she got a text message this morning from her son's phone saying that the phone appears to have been involved in a crash. When I was on TV with you guys about an hour ago, that's when I heard detectives walk over to her, and that's when you just heard the scream. And that's a mother's cry you never want to hear. She got the news that her 21-year-old son is the one that was struck and killed in this accident. She said that her son just turned 21. He was an artist. She says that he was the best man that she's ever known, and she is devastated by what she learned here today. So we do know that one person has been killed, and Miami did fire rescue did say the driver of one the cars was transported to the hospital. I'm live in Miami Gardens, Morgan Reiner, CBS News, Miami.